I still have energy. I still feel like I can fight again. Well, you didn't fight. You made it so short. You didn't fight that long. Yeah, I didn't see it going that short, but I I'm happy. I'll take that any day. Absolutely. You know? Talk about that, you know, you land the punch and he goes down and you see the opportunity to jump on it. I mean, it did happen so quick. Did you expect to get him down that, that quickly? Nah. Um, I've seen I've seen him fight and I've seen, you know, it looks like he had a little chin. I've seen him get hit. I didn't expect it to go that quick. Um, but yeah, that's all it took was one. He was down and I, psh, I was jumping on him quick. You knew that he didn't have much no of a, space. You knew he didn't have much of a ground game. So jumping on him, you figured that it was it was done after that, right? Yeah, that was a word on him, that he didn't have much of a ground game. Um... You know, he hadn't done anything in three years. So he could have been doing jiu-jitsu two times a day for three years, for all I knew. So I was ready. You know, I was, my jiu-jitsu was sharp. My striking was sharp. I was ready for anything. Now, did you have any uh, jitters going into the octagon for this moment, or were you pretty relaxed getting in there? Uh, I had jitters. I always get nervous for fights. I think you're crazy not to, um, at least for me. But I, I was working on staying really present and being in the moment, and I, I, I felt great in there. I felt amazing. I, I saw everything. Everything I, I saw everything. I know, you know. I guess I was, you know. Dana came back and was like, "You seem pretty chill." And I, you know, I was nervous on the inside, but I, I felt good. Now the fight goes so quick, so Punk doesn't really have a chance to scout you. Yeah. Uh, does that work to your I'm advantage? Still a mystery. Heck yeah. <laughs> Not that you can't pick up on any tendencies. Yeah, nothing. It, it does work good. Yeah. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. You missed weight, yeah? No. You didn't? No. They said 174, Mickey Gall. F O R. Okay. I made weight. I made weight. I was 170. Like, that dude didn't make weight. No, no, I was 170. Well, I need a new question. Give me a second. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> so now that you've won and you you have all this, I'm going to say hype, Do you? how are you going to keep that aside so you can stay in Jersey, keep training in Jersey, and not be distracted by other gyms coming after you, other yeah. people coming after you, a girl named Tawana coming after you, all sorts of problems? Uh, I don't know about a girl named Tawana, I just but <laughs> um, no, nah, everything else, it's, you know, I have a great support system, my family, my sister Jamie over there would kick my butt if I, you know, I, I you know, I have a great friends, all, everyone that supports me, you know, they're, they're, they're not going to let me get crazy, and I'm not going to get crazy, I care about this too much, you know what I mean? We're working mm -hmm. for this since I was 16, 24 now, and now it's time to go. And coming off a fight like that, is there anything we don't know about? Could you fight next week if they called you, or are you just going to wait for the CM? I call? could, but I don't think CM's going to be ready next week. So, yeah, I'm fighting CM Punk next. You were really respectful, of the two of you, both in the in the octagon, but what were you saying to each other? Um, I don't even know. Just It was like small talk. It was like soccer mom small talk. It was nothing. Um, you know, I, I respect that dude. He's made himself a superstar. Uh, it's a big fight for me. I get to beat up a superstar. That's what I'm going to do, whatever the fight is. Did you size him up when you were in there? Yeah, yeah, I checked him out. He's probably a little heavy right now. I'm a little light. I'm going to get bigger and stronger, you know. I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat Sam Punk in the first round, same as our original prediction. Uh, I don't think I'll beat him quicker than this one, but for, it'll be a first round. Richard, he didn't get a chance to really scout you, but nobody really knows anything about his game except for we expect he's probably better on the ground than he will be striking, but he's learning striking, his striking camp, so yeah. how do you kind of prepare for the complete unknown? He's a total mystery. Um, you know, all I know is that he's doing wrestling, and I'm, clothes lines, they're not, they don't really translate. Uh, so, you know, I just prepare like in any fight. Anything can happen, it's, it's a fight. It's a fight. It doesn't, you know, I won't be able to see his tendencies. Uh, I'm sure I'll see something. I'll, I'll know if he's a Southpaw or Orthodox. I'm just going to force my game. It doesn't really matter what. It doesn't matter what he's going to do. I'm going to force my game on him and, you know, I'm going to beat him up. What was it like for you to have that feeling of squaring off with an opponent just after you had finished uh, your fight? Basically? It was cool. It was fun. You know, I got to uh, I got to see him. I, I was, you know, I uh, I saw, I wasn't even 100%. I, like, now I, I know exactly what he looks like. Um, so it was cool. Got to see him. He was—he had shoes on, so it probably looked taller than he actually was. I was barefoot, but you know. So you were already kind of sizing him up then, right there. Yeah, he had a beard, so I'm not sure exactly where that chin is. But I'ma find it. <laughs> now it's hard to determine because you won without much problem. Going into your next training, are you gonna work harder cardio, or is that even not an issue? More strength and conditioning. What do you have planned? Um, next? I work strength and conditioning with Billy D. Williams. Uh, I'm gonna be doing more of that. Get myself stronger. Get myself bigger. Um, to everything. Uh, I do more jujitsu with David Adiv at Gracie, New Jersey, and uh, you know, with the Miller brothers and Carmelo Marrero at uh, in American Top Team Allentown. I'm just gonna keep training. You know, keep training.
Are you a wrestling fan? I was when I was young. I was a big Stone Cold Steve Austin fan. And then I, like, graduated middle school and did, found other stuff. When I, when I talked to you before, you said if I weren't fighting here, I'd be fighting in Pennsylvania or in Jersey. Yeah. How tough are those guys that people don't know about yet? I mean, the amateur scene and the low people haven't There's heard of There's a lot guys. of tough guys. A lot of tough guys. The guys, guys I train with every day, like LJ Raboli, Big John Romero, Chris Cretalo. Uh, I could go on for forever. Uh, Tyler Bear. There's so many tough people that I train with. Um, I don't know, man. Maybe it's the East Coast thing, but there's a lot of tough guys out there. New Jersey, Pennsylvania.